Good morning, everybody. I'm still kind of sick, throwing down a lot. Cody's sickness took a turn for the worst. He's not feeling too hot. It says he's got a lot of green phlegm coming up, which is indication of usually sinus infection. He's coughing. Our breakfast is served outside. They cover it up with saran wrap for flies, I think. I got pancakes, muesli, fruit, and yogurt, and Cody got the all-American breakfast that I got last time and a tea. Yesterday they were asking for Tylenol so much and they would have to go to the desk and get it. They kept asking that today, paracetamol, which is Tylenol in the States, they just gave him this whole humongous container of it with a thousand tablets in it because Rachel's having body aches, Cody's having pain. It's about 9.30, we're gonna be leaving the Cabanalipe Resort at 11 to get on a boat, to get on a bus, to get on a flight starting at 11.30. We're just getting packed up. The room is a mess because we've been sick. Our stuff is sprawled out everywhere. Two days not sick, one and a half days sick. Not too bad. Goodbye, beautiful beaches. Goodbye. The water looks super choppy today. The clouds look super rainy today. I really hope we don't get rained on, and I really hope it's not that choppy on the ride. Otherwise, Rachel's probably gonna throw up, Cody's probably gonna throw up, and I myself might throw up. Living the beach bum dog life. It was a good island stay. Can't help but getting sick. Getting sick sucks, but it happens. If you like snorkeling or diving, Colipe is the way to go. Unfortunately, we were not able to get into the water with masks and snorkels, but that's okay. Maybe on another trip. Just docked. Rachel did yak once. I'm fine with it. I don't get motion sickness. I don't get seasick. The weather has improved as soon as we got off the island. The driver was hauling, going faster than he was supposed to. I think the the boat got here in an hour and 15 minutes. I think it was supposed to be an hour and a half to two hour ride. And he would be riding, driving, driving, and it just bam, smack. You hit a wave and then we would just smack, smack, smack. So a lot of people were just like, all over the place. They make it look so glorious with the beautiful reefs and the diving and the beaches. They don't show the seasickness, vomiting, and the diarrhea from the food. I'm just kidding, it was really, it was good. It was still good. They took our pictures coming in and then they have them all laid on the table for people to buy. And if, and if you don't buy it, they just take it, take it off and throw it away. So let's see if we can find our picture. Oh, there's Cody. Uh, there's Cody, you're, there's you're right Rachel, above them. there's me with my mouth open. We found Cody, there's me, and Rachel looks diva. I got my eyes closed like an idiot and my mouth open. There are so many travel agencies here. Uh, every single little shop is a travel agency, look at it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, all the way. So many different travel agencies. Capitalism at its finest. Let the prices be dictated by the free open market. Like we think we do, Our van is so <laughs> packed. <laughs> We're at the Hat Yai Airport. It was about an hour and a half on the bus or on the people transporter in the van. Not a whole lot going on today, just a lot of traveling. Pretty exhausted. Thanks everybody for watching. If you have any encouraging comments, put them in the comment section below. And I will see you guys tomorrow in Bangkok. Bye.